Hola and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to do some vocabulary and i um, going to go over some vocab words from um, Spanish 1, Chapter 2A. You guys should know these already. I just want to do a quick review with you. Um, what we're looking at right here is Quizlet.com. If you go to my webpage, you'll see that there's a link to it. They're online flashcards, so you don't have to spend your time making the cards. You can just spend your time studying the cards. We've got some different options here. We've got expand to full screen. You can shuffle them up. You tur can turn on audio so that um, you can hear the words. You can see both sides. You can see Spanish first or English first. Um, but that's what it is right here. So I'm just going to go through some of these with you real quick and uh, have it be a little refresher for you. Let's start with Spanish first. Uh, what you should do is you should uh, listen to the word and then repeat the word and then uh, see if you can think of the English while we're doing it. So I'll say it, you repeat it. El almuerzo. El almuerzo. Lunch. La clase. La clase. The class. La clase de. La clase de. That would be like la clase de matemáticas, la clase de ciencias, la clase de, uh, no sé, la clase de arte, la clase de español. El arte. El arte. El español. El español. Las ciencias naturales. Las ciencias naturales. Las ciencias sociales. Las ciencias sociales. La educación física. La educación física. El inglés. El inglés. Las matemáticas. Las matemáticas. La tecnología, la tecnología, el horario, el horario. Now you'll see in here, you see the word hora, from like the hora of the day, the hour. El horario is your schedule. En la blank hora, en la primera hora, en la segunda hora. La tarea. La tarea. Now we teach generally that, that tarea is homework, but really it's a task. Um, so keep that in mind if you hear it in other contexts. Enseñar. Enseñar. Yo enseño, tú enseñas, él enseña. To teach. Nosotros enseñamos. Estudiar. Estudiar. You see here in the middle of it, study. Estudiar. Hablar. Hablar. That comes from the same place as the word fable or fabulous. Uh, but we'll talk about that another day. Hablar, to talk or to speak. Primer. Primera. Okay, kind of think of a movie premiere. It's the first time you see a movie. Primer. Segundo. Tercer. Tercero. Tercera. Cuarto or cuarta. Quinto, quinta. Sexto o sexta. Séptimo. Octavo. Noveno. Décimo. Yo hablo. This is where we start doing verb conjugations, where we take a verb like hablar and we start changing it, conjugating it to match. We'll talk more about conjugations later. Tú hablas. Él, ella, o usted habla. Nosotros hablamos. Ellos hablan, ellas hablan, ustedes hablan. Nosotros, what does nosotros mean? 
of course it's we, yo, I, nosotras, we, and it's all girls, tú, and we only use the two when we're talking casually or informally with somebody, vosotros, we talked about these in a previous video, usted, you formal, vosotras, y'all, but it's used only in Spain really. Um, and notice it is vosotras, so it's all girls. Ustedes, it's formal for you guys. Um, instead of vosotros and vosotras, we use ustedes in Latin America. El, he, ellos, they, ella, she, ellas, they all female. La calculadora. Try repeating that one, that one's a little tougher. La calculadora. La carpeta de argollas. Argollas, are, those are those rings that snap shut. El diccionario. El diccionario. Yo necesito. Okay, we've done some, some vocab. Now let's move into conjugating verbs. Um, this is probably one of the tougher part for students because it's, it's taught so differently than what we do in English. Um, I've asked my students, I've asked you guys before, hey, do we conjugate verbs in English? And students will say, no, no, we don't conjugate verbs. But we do, we do. Take, for example, the verb uh, to be. To be. Okay, how do you say I? I am. You are. He, she, oops, I searched right, he, she, uh, is. We, okay, you get the idea. I don't need to spend too much time on that. Okay. Well, in Spanish, um, it, it's a little more formulaic. You know, like, like we have different verbs in English, like I swim, he swims, uh, he talks, she talks, they talk. Um, it follows certain patterns, but it's not as cut and dry as in Spanish. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take a verb like hablar. Okay, you, you'll recall we have three types of verbs in Spanish, AR, ER, and IR. Today we're just going to talk about the AR verbs. Um, when we have a verb like hablar, you take the ending and you just get rid of it. So you're left with what we call the stem. And then you add endings to that stem according to your subject. Now the verbs, they conjugate according to time, subject, and mood. And we'll skip the vosotros. All you Spaniards, I apologize if I offend you, but here in Arizona, we don't get much of Spain. We get a lot more Latin America. So we'll focus on these. O, as, a, amos, an. So you take hablar, you drop the AR, and you add the ending. I speak, yo hablo. You speak, tu hablas. She speaks, ella habla. We speak, nosotros hablamos. They speak, ellos hablan. Y'all speak, Ustedes hablan. You formal speak, habla. So that's just a quick review of conjugated verbs. Now, you're going to need to know these. You're going to need to know these. These are not going away. If you have to sit there and go, O as a amosan, O as a amosan, and write it down and something, somehow to memorize these and learn these, you, get, you just got to do it. Um, in this chapter that we're reviewing right now, there are a couple other verbs, or I'm sorry, there's one other verb that you need to know, because there are some irregulars. Just for this chapter, we're going to need to know tengo, which means I have, and tienes, you have. All the other conjugations, the ERs, IRs, um, other irregular verbs, we'll deal with those in later chapters, in later review lessons. But for right now, o as a amos an, o as a amos an, hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, habla. Let's do a quick little quiz. I will give you a verb, uh, you will give me the, the, the conjugation of it. For example, if I were to say, tu hablar, the conjugation is, hablas, good. If I were to say, um, tu, no, let's say, nosotros hablar, it would be, hablamos, ellos hablar, hablan. Yo hablar, hablo. 
uh, if you want, if you want to have fun with this, there's a fun video out there. A teacher back east that used to here anyway uh, did a a spoof a parody of um, uh, called uh, Conjugations Back. I think if you just go and Google and you type in um, I'm bringing conjugations back or something like that, you'll find it. Uh, anyway, so that's the lesson for today. Uh, be ready with this stuff for tomorrow. Adios.